Hi! Welcome to MSA YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Emmy, and I'll be teaching the addition property of equality. But before anything else, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. solve equations using the addition property of equality. So addition property of equality states that the same number or variable term can be added to each side of an equation without changing the solution of the equation. So let's say we have a is equal to b. If I add a certain number to a, then I will also add it to b. So we have a plus c is equal to b plus c. Let's have some example to illustrate this. x minus 4 is equal to 11. We all know that the value of x here is 15 because 15 minus 4 is equal to 11. But I will use the addition property of equality and let's see if I will get 15 as the value of x. Alright, so first thing to do is to isolate the variable. And our variable here is x. So we need to get rid of negative 4 by adding positive 4 on the left side of the equation. Because negative 4 plus 4, that will become 0. But the problem is, the equation becomes unbalanced. Because we add 4 on the left side, but we didn't add anything on the right side. And that's why we need the addition property of equality to keep the equation balanced. And it states that we can add the same number on both sides of the equation without changing the solution of the equation. So if we add 4 on the left side, then we must add positive 4 on the right side. And let's simplify. So negative 4 plus 4, that will become 0. And 11 plus 4, that will become 15. So x is equal to 15. Alright, let's have another example. x plus 7 is equal to 22. So to find the value of x, we just need to get rid of positive 7 here by adding its additive inverse. And the additive inverse of positive 7 is negative 7. So that means we need to add negative 7 on the left side and on the right side of the equation. Alright? And simplify. So we have x here is equal to 15. 22 plus negative 7 is 15. So as you can see, we have two different equations but having the same solution. And two or more equations having the same solution are called equivalent equations. Alright, so let's have more examples. We have x minus 13 is equal to negative 18. So to find the value of x here, we need to add the additive inverse of negative 13, and that is positive 13. So just add positive 13 on both sides of the equation and simplify. So negative 18 plus 13, that will give us negative 5. Alright, so we can still see if our answer is correct by checking. Alright, so let's have the original equation. x minus 13 is equal to negative 18. So we just need to replace x by negative 5 and let's see if it can satisfy the given equation. Alright, so we have negative 5 minus 13. Is it equal to negative 18? Yes, so that means our answer here is correct. Alright, let's have another example. x plus 3 eighths is equal to 7 eighths. 
that is fraction, but the process is still the same. So we just need to get rid of 3 eighths by adding negative 3 eighths on both sides of the equation. And simplify. So 7 eighths plus negative 3 eighths that will give us positive 4 eighths. And remember this, if your answer is in fraction form, make sure to um, write it in simply yet form. So 4 eighths can be simplified as 1 half. So the final answer here is one half. And let's see if our answer is correct. So we just simply replace x by one half. So one half plus three eighths is it equal to seven eighths? So as you can see, we have the similar fraction here. We need to make them similar fraction. So one half is equal to four eighths. So we have four eighths plus 3 eighths is equal to 7 eighths. So that means our answer is correct. Alright, let's have um, some exercises here. So solve the following. You have 5 items. If you can solve it mentally, then that's great. But if not, you can use your scratch paper and pen to solve the following items on your screen. Alright, so if you have questions, concern, or if you have any topics that you want us to discuss in our future videos, just comment down below. Alright, so let's try the first item. X plus 6 is equal to 9. So for us to solve for the value of X, we just need to add negative 6 on both sides of the equation. And simplify. So 9 plus negative 6, that will give us positive 3. So the value of x is 3. Alright? How about the second item? y plus 12 is equal to negative 3. So to solve this, we just need to add negative 12 on both sides of the equation. And simplify. So we have negative 3 plus negative 12, that will give us negative 15. So the answer for number 2 will be negative 15. Alright? And let's have the third item. A minus 5 is equal to 14. So to solve this, we just need to add positive 5 on both sides of the equation and simplify. So 14 plus 5, that will give us 19. So A is equal to 19. Alright? And number 4, we have M minus negative 2 is equal to 10. So as you can see, M minus negative 2 is also equal to M plus 2. So to get rid of positive 2 here, you just need to add negative 2 on both sides of the equation. And simplify. So we have 10 plus negative 2 that will become 8. So the final answer will be 8. Alright, and let's have the last item, number 5. x minus 1 over 6 is equal to negative 5 over 6. So we just need to add positive 1 over 6 on both sides of the equation and simplify. So, negative 5 over 6 plus 1 over 6, that will give us negative 4 over 6. And lowest term of negative 4 over 6 is negative 2 thirds. So, the final answer is negative 2 thirds. Alright? So, that's how you solve equations using addition property of equality. So, for more exercises, kindly check the link below and download the worksheet for free. Or you can avail our book, Elementary Algebra Study Guide Book 1. It is available at MSA Online Bookstore. Alright? For my next video, I will discuss the multiplication property of equality. Alright? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. Bye!